Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny. I'm from Jenny Card Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. My YouTube channel contains content that is intended to share paper crafting tutorials and inspiration with all of you. I hope that you enjoy. Let's make a card today. I'm going to be using this gorgeous stamp set designed by Hannah Drapinski from Gina K Designs. Because of the glare on my lighting, you don't get to see it very well, so I've just got the picture here from Gina K Designs website. It is a beautiful, massive peony. So I'm going to do some alcohol marker coloring, and I'm just cutting up a panel of Gina K Designs heavy base weight cardstock. Gina's cardstock is super smooth and is super fantastic for alcohol marker coloring. So I've gone ahead and cut down a piece of cardstock that measures three and three quarters by five. And I'm going to grab that massive peony image and I'm going to get it loaded up onto the door of my mini Misty. I'm going to rub away the manufacturing residue that's sitting on top of the stamp as I have not used it before. So I wanna make sure that I get a nice smooth crisp image. And I'm going to ink up the stamp with Gina K Designs Onyx Black Ink. This is my favorite black ink apart from VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. I find that this dye ink gives a really smooth impression. Okay, so I'm just going to rub my sleeve over the door of my Misty to get a good transfer of ink, and here's our image. Now I'm going to do some alcohol marker coloring, and I'm gonna play a little bit of music, and I'll interject here and there with a few quick tips, and I'll catch you back on the other side. For my coloring today, I'm using Ulta New alcohol markers. I'm going to start by coloring all of the greenery on the outside of this floral image with my lightest color green alcohol marker. And then for the small flowers on the outside of the image, I'm going to use my lightest color blue alcohol marker. I'm not doing any shading, I'm just laying down color. I'm going to take the darkest blue shade and I'm just going to flick in some color around the outer edges of each petal. I will then come in with my mid-tone blue color and blend out just a little bit, leaving some white space. I'm then going to take the lightest color that I have and go over the entire flower, blending all of those colors together. I then decided to go in with my mid-tone green marker and go over some of those smaller leaves to create a little bit of definition. And then I took the mid-tone blue marker and added a little bit of highlight into the little flowers. And finally, I'm going to take a white jelly roll pen and add some white dot detail throughout this image. I'm going to grab a piece of Gina K Designs blue raspberry cardstock and I'm gonna cut this down to five and a half inches by eight and a half, and then I'm gonna pop it into my scoreboard and score it at four and a quarter. This will give us a standard A2 size card base. And I'll use my bone folder to crease the fold and get a nice sharp crease. This Gina K Designs cardstock is a 100 pound. It's a nice heavyweight cardstock. I'm gonna grab a piece of white craft foam and I'm going to just trim up a piece that's gonna fit behind my stamped panel and I'll use some liquid adhesive to adhere the fun foam to my card panel and then my card panel to my card base. And I'll just get that lined up and we have this gorgeous blue raspberry border around my beautiful flower. Okay, the last thing I'd like to do is add some sequins. These are the Gina K Designs Angel Aura sequins. And I'm just going to pop down a few little dots of glue here and there. This is my favorite way to add it sequins and things like that because I I don't like to overthink it. 
So if I just add the glue, then I can't really go back and change my mind. So I think it just helps me create faster and less opportunity to second guess myself. So I'm just gonna dump out some of my jewels. I think I call these sequins. They're not sequins, they are a jewel with an iridescent shimmer to them. And I'll pop those onto the adhesive. And that's gonna be it for this card. I don't wanna put anything else on it. I don't want a sentiment, I don't want anything. I will use the inside of my card for the opportunity to share my well wishes for whatever I decide to use this card for. So here's a close up look at our finished card project. And that's it for today's video. Super simple, nothing complicated about this at all. I had this stamp in my collection for a little while now and I was a little intimidated to use it. And then I thought, okay, let's just pull it out and try something and this is the result. So don't be afraid to try something in your craft room that's kind of out of your comfort zone. You might like the results. Okay, thanks for joining me. Have yourself a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.